Hi, so uh, this is an unusual video. You can't see my face. Normally you can, uh, but the purpose of the video is to show you uh, the spread that I like to use for uh, different types of readings. In this instance, it's for the Hegel spread. It, it, Hegel is a rune, and it looks like a cross with another cross. Uh, and it is a spread that was invented by Rachel Pollock for the handle deck, which is what I've got in front of me right now. So I wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like when you're having a reading with me and I'm using that spread. I call it, uh, in my shop, if you go look at my shop, it's called the transformation reading because I think this is really about your spiritual transformation, your day-to-day, um, -day, and the people who are available to help you. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what that looks like. So what I'm doing right now is just separating the deck into the majors, the minors, and the uh, court cards. Because this spread is based on each section of the, uh, of the tarot deck. So there's 78 cards, and in those 78 cards there's three different sections. The majors, the minors, and the court cards. And you'd expect that the um, court cards are what you would think of in a normal card deck. So they're the kings, queens kind of thing. Uh, the regulars or the suits that you're used to, those minor arcana, and then the um, majors or the what makes the tarot unique is uh, the 22 major arcana, which are a little bit different than what we're used to. So for the Hegel spread, you separate the deck into each section. So I've got the majors here, then the minors, and then below are the court, card, court cards. And after coming to an idea of the question, then you just uh, shuffle each of the sections as you're thinking about your question. And then you would lay them out in the pattern that I'm about to show you. So just simply shuffling each of these decks. And then you start with the minors, because the minors are going to give you the current situation. So you lay out the minors in what's current, the background of the situation, the beliefs or what might uh, be the hopes and fears of the situation, and then what the potential outcome might be based on the path that you're currently on. So it's about what's going on today. And the minor cards are really about that kind of daily, weekly experience that we're having. It's not really a forward-thinking type of experience like the majors would be. So once you've got the minors laid out, to answer your question, uh, then you are going to lay out the majors, and those are going to go above all of the minors. And now you're going to see the uh, Hegel rune appear. So you would lay out a spiritual history, you would lay out a spiritual, you know, a current spiritual state. Let me move this back a little bit so you can see it. And then the direction that you might be headed. So now you see this, this Hegel rune appear. Uh, with these seven cards. Uh, so you can see the cross and this cross. Uh, so what's interesting about this is you can also start looking at the pattern here. On these levels you can look at this um, group of four or this group of four. It's interesting how these start to play together. Once you've done uh, the current state the overarching spiritual history or, or how you approach uh, your life lessons, then you're going to utilize the court cards to discover more about yourself, uh, more about who your helpers are and who your teachers are in order to help you achieve the goal that you're trying to achieve in this transformation spread. So uh, you would pull a card for yourself and just on the left a card that is your helper and underneath uh, on the right, a card that is your teacher. Now, what's interesting about the handle deck is these are incredible archetypes in the court cards that are based off of um, different religions, historical religions, uh, what somebody might think of as a myth or a legend because it doesn't conform to Christianity, so we call it a myth or a legend because it's probably more pagan in its roots or, or something else. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of history and understanding of these people based on who they are. So for example, Osiris. We know a lot about Osiris in Egyptian uh, history. Or Krishna. We know a lot about Krishna based on Eastern religion. So you can learn a lot about who your helpers might be. And depending on uh, 
how you view these individuals. They may be someone that you uh, set up an altar for or pray towards, or it might be someone that you recognize that you know in your life. So this is a very detailed spread about people, about how you approach uh, your life and your uh, the situations in your life, and what you're doing about those things today. Uh, I additionally, like I mentioned before, will look at how these columns interact or how they might interact going across this way or this way. So historical, future type of things. And then uh, once that's all done, then I'll uh, line these up based on their suits and see what kind of thing that tells me about the reading. So that's a basic understanding of the Hegel spread and how I use it. I, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this is helpful for you in understanding what it's like to have this type of reading done with me.